freedom! I hope that I have your attention because this is somewhat important. Now, I have seen a lot of comments here on the Freedom Channel, on the forums and elsewhere, that I believe need to be talked about. So, in the course of this show, and possibly in the series, should this become a series, I am going to obscure the names of the people who provide these comments so that we don't cause issues. We would hate to have an angry lynch mob out there is going up, going to town on these people. So let's not do that. Our first comment is actually a very long one left by Freedom Hater Troll Noob 101. Again, not their real name. I will be censoring this comment. However, the person who left it was not so kind. Freedom bleeping sucks and is a flytrap for small channels. You shouldn't have to wait to leave. You should leave now. All right, stop right there. This is actually a very long comment, but already you've let us know why you're so, for lack of a better word, butthurt. You want to leave. You don't want to wait 30 days. Even though it was already put in the contract on every Freedom video where we discuss it, sounds like you just don't want to live up to your end of the deal. It's not that big of a deal. 30 days. You knew it going in. You know it now. Why so mad? As far as being fly trap for small channels, I really don't see where you're coming from with this because a lot of other networks won't even take small channels, let alone do things for them like provide a library of music, do things for them like the $100,000 sponsorships, or anything else really. It just doesn't make any sense. Freedom Hater Troll Noob 101 says, again, not his real name. I hate freedom and how George is manipulating small channels to his own benefit. Let's stop right there. Let's take a look at what I had just said. Most networks won't even take smaller channels. Why won't they take smaller channels? Well, the truth of the matter is that smaller channels tend to ask a lot of newbie questions. And most networks don't want to spend the money on supporting them. They don't want to spend the money answering those questions because people paying people to answer questions on support, you know, it doesn't come cheap. So I'm a little bit confused exactly how it is that George is manipulating channels into barely making a profit on said small channels. I don't see the logic there. We read on from Freedom Hater Troll Noob 101. Again, not his real name, changed for his own safety. I haven't grown a bit in freedom. He offers stupid sponsorships just to lure you in and crap, my word, not his, that is not even relevant to your channel growing. Freedom is a scam and is, so is George. Stop again, let's do this. You haven't grown since you've been in freedom. From a personal standpoint, I'm curious as to why. So I did check out your channel. And I also noticed that there have only been like four videos put up in the past two weeks. You're missing a lot of opportunities to grow just by not producing content. Not only that, but you're also not taking advantage of custom thumbnails. Or really your description at all. Your descriptions include, this is me playing this game. End of story. You're not taking any of the advice that we've given here on Freedom Central in the dashboard. You're not taking advantage of any of the tools in the dashboard. So if you're not growing, there's only one person that I can look to to blame. And that person's not George. As far as sponsorships go, everyone has an opportunity to be part of our sponsorship system. We have gone to great lengths and great expense to make sure that that happens. If you have that mindset, the it'll never happen to me, so why try mindset, again, there's only one person to blame for that, and it's not George. It's not Freedom. I wonder who it would be. Freedom Hater Troll Noob goes on to say, again, just to be clear, that's not his real name. We changed it so that he doesn't end up getting spam. He baits small channels with ooh keyboards and ooh headsets and ooh custom websites. None of that matters if you don't have views. Stop right there. That's partially true. You can only make the best use out of these types of sponsorships if you have views. And that's why a lot of companies by themselves will not sponsor smaller channels. However, that's why Freedom, us, step in and say, okay, 
we will invest in you and hopefully we will get what's called ROI, return on investment. If we invest in this small channel, will they stay with us? Will they take those tools and grow with them? Will they take the initiative to take the leg up that we've given them and will they do their part? If you're the kind of YouTube partner that doesn't use keyboards or mice or really anything else like that, that's fine. If you're the kind of person who just uploads on your mobile phone, then no, some of the sponsorships we have aren't going to apply to you. However, that's why we are working on more and that's why we have made such a huge deal out of the ones that we've already worked on. Because in the comments of every single video, the Freedom Community, that would be you, still give us great ideas about how we can expand these relationships with the current companies and others in order to make the best benefit for everyone. And that's vloggers, that's gamers, that's everybody. As far as not being able to utilize all this stuff if you don't have views, that's just not the case. You can utilize it, yes. You can use it as a tool to go forward. As far as would a company normally want to do that for you? No. But that's why Freedom is here. Freedom is here to make that investment and try to see that ROI, that return on investment. Freedom Hater Troll Noob continues to say, you can have all the custom websites in the world, sponsors if you don't have views or exposures, subs, it's all worthless and that's something Freedom is not providing. Views, subs, crap that actually matters for the growth of your channel and YouTube career. Stop. Freedom can't do it all for you. This is true. Freedom does not spam your videos with fake views. What Freedom does do is it trains you how to hold the keys to your own success. And that is what matters. There's an old saying that I try to live by, that if you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. If you teach a man to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. And that is exactly what Freedom is trying to do. We are trying to train a group of fishermen so that they can go out and feed themselves forever. That is why we did our own sponsorship system so that we can start getting the information out there about how you are to interact with companies who sponsor you so that when you get your own sponsorships, so that when you grow to a size where a company will look at you, you understand that you are supposed to do an unboxing. So that you understand that there is a legal agreement that you are being held to so that you can go forward and flourish so you have these experiences. That's what this is all about. It's about teaching people to fish on the internet with YouTube. But that's enough. You know what? That's been Real Talk. I'm Anthony. In the comment section down below, let me know what you think about this. Should it be a series? Because I'll be honest, I'm getting really, really sick of the trolls that don't pop up over my shoulder. You can't get sick of me! <laughs> Let's discover freedom. Click the first video to learn what is freedom and how it helps you grow. Click the second video to learn about sponsorships for all freedom partners, even if you have just 10 subscribers. And click the other videos like How Do I Leave Freedom to learn more. Click Get More Views to learn how to build your audience faster on YouTube. Click Get More CPM to learn how to make more money from your channel. And click Get More Music to learn where to get more music to spice up your videos. Click the first playlist to watch The George Show on Freedom. That's my show. Or watch The Anthony Show or The Alex Show also on Freedom.